Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am drawing Shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But as always, I'm putting my own little twist on this one. Uh, my daughter and I just watched all the animated shorts uh, for Star Wars um, on Disney Plus, and I thought it'd be super cool to make a Darth Shredder, so a Sith Lord Shredder character. Right here, I'm using a Rotring uh, lead holder pencil to sketch out my drawing. If you follow my channel, you know normally I use big pens to do this. Uh, just to switch things up, I decided to sketch with pencil. So normally with these videos, I'd kind of talk you guys through the drawing, but I've done that so many times, I decided to switch things up a little bit for this video. I want to talk about more than just the physical act of drawing. And I want to talk about the ideas that go into creating cool characters and concepts. Star Wars has always been a really interesting thing for me when I think about it from a creator standpoint. And I think about George Lucas and his initial ideas on Star Wars and how fun they would have been to think of and to work on. But there's always been weird things about it that have always bugged me. Um, Elena, my daughter and I, she's super creative. She loves to draw characters and ideas. And I feel like we both have a good idea of what we think is awesome like badass, just really cool characters, awesome fight scenes, stuff like that. And that's why Star Wars has always kind of thrown me for a loop because you'd have moments that are super cool, like Darth Maul versus Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. That's a super cool scene, awesome fight scene. And as you're watching that scene, you're watching the dumbest scenes uh, like that I can't even barely handle watching them with Jar Jar Binks when he's like tripping over stuff and killing these stupid looking robots that aren't cool at all and things like that. It's just so inconsistent with the creativity. And I always wonder like, is it the creators or the editors? Like how could you be so inconsistent with cool stuff versus really dumb stuff? Now I know a lot of people said, well, Star Wars is made for kids, right? So then that doesn't make sense to me because why would you have a movie where you have a dumb character like Jar Jar Binks for comedy to relief bouncing all over the place doing stupid things but then you also have a scene where uh, a master is chopping the legs and arms off his apprentice in this horrific like awesome fight scene like it just doesn't make sense like I I don't know if they just tried to make it for too many people um, and the reason I'm talking about this is my daughter and I are watching all the Star Wars movies from the very first one till the, to the last. And I just find it so weird that they have such inconsistency in the coolness of the movie and the story. I know it's easy to pick on Jar Jar Binks. Everybody's pretty, uh, you know, it's consensus that that character sucks. Like everybody hated him. Um, how he made it into the movie and how they didn't see that he was going to be problematic, I will never know. But there's other aspects of Star Wars that are really similar to this. Is just a, and I, I, I do think like what I touched on before about them trying to make movies for just too broad a range of an audience. And I think they don't give younger kids like my daughter's age enough respect. My daughter totally sees right through this stuff too. She thinks it's so dumb when they try and throw this slapstick silly stuff in um, with this super dramatic stuff as well. Uh, and I know I've heard, you know, it's because they're trying to sell toys and things like that. Um, but, you know, I feel like Marvel did a pretty good job of it. Sometimes they miss with the slapstick stuff. And I understand you want characters to have personality. And I really actually, as I've gotten older, appreciate this a lot more. You can't just have all badass. You can't just have mean, dark characters. I think that's a flaw as well. And that brings up another point is I do think when you're working on projects that are massive like this, you have to have a clear vision, but you have to have a trusted group of people making this that all share that vision, but understand the strengths of each person. Because I do think some people really, you know, they can write that, um, that, comedy relief really well uh, but then at the same time they might miss on those really cool action sequences so having said all that uh, as you watch me draw this character shredder darth shredder kind of cat guy that's really ridiculous um, i would never write a story with this type of character in it 
Uh, I have always said I really like characters that make sense. Uh, their armor has to make sense. However, you know, doing fun, like totally just pushing the limits of ridiculous creativity is fun. But sometimes I feel like people look at that and think, oh, it's so creative. When I actually think, and this is a very key component to the way I view creativity, is I think creativity and really good thought out creative things are much harder to do than ridiculous characters and ridiculous ideas. The ridiculous ideas come easy. I think those are simple. You just add really crazy stuff to a character or do crazy things with a, a concept and that's easy. It's when you have to really think about the function of that character and how they might actually exist in reality. And then you make them very imaginative and you make it all make sense. That is genius creativity to me. I want to know what you guys think, you know, about what I just said. So let me know, like, what do you think is extremely creative? What do you guys, like, when you think about really creative, really cool characters, ideas and concepts, what do you guys appreciate? Uh, so if you have ideas on your own, because you know, these are all, this is all my perspective and the things I appreciate. And I definitely know every artist kind of has their own take on this kind of stuff. But I would definitely love to know yours. My daughter and I talk about things like this all the time. And I've always wanted to make it more a part of my channel is having that conversation about creativity and creative concepts. Uh, now, concept art, you know, coming up with characters, designing characters, um, that has always been something that's just so fun for me to do. And like I said earlier, uh, this character that I'm making right now is just a stupid, ridiculous character. Uh, none of the stuff on his armor makes sense. I mean, wouldn't you kill yourself if you had lightsaber beams sticking out of your shoulder? Like, what if? But then I was saying, that's how you get creative. Like you say, well, he's got smart armor that anytime it comes in contact with other parts of him, it just turns off. So it only activates when he's encountering, um, you know, somebody else. And then you could write in a really funny scene where, you know, somebody tries to give him a hug and dies, something like that. Um, but like, those are things I think about when I'm drawing characters and coming up with ideas is I know what I'm drawing is ridiculous a lot of times. Sometimes I'll seriously think about a character and be like, okay, let's think about every component of his armor. Let's think about how his arms move. Um, you don't want like big shoulder pads and things like that. That would be way hard to swing a sword or be, you know, agile in a fight. So those are things that like, if I were making a real character for a movie, I would definitely consider. So I carry that kind of philosophy when it comes to creative creativity um, throughout all things that I enjoy that are creative, like movies and comics and things like that. And so a lot of times, uh, I come across as very negative, like when I'm talking to my daughter and my wife about other people's stories, because there's so much stuff that just doesn't make logical sense to me. Um, and it sounds odd because I'm such a, you know, I love to draw, I'm a creative person. Um, but that whole concept of things need to make sense um, is really at the heart of how I view creativity. I need things to be logical. Like I can't have people or characters make decisions that just that have no rational process. You know, they do things that just make no sense. And that will irritate me so bad and just pull me right out of a story when things are written in or characters do things or they're, they're just their concept just doesn't make sense at all to me. Um, so my philosophy with creating characters and things like that is I really want them to exist in reality. I used to always say it's it's playing real. Like when I was a kid, I played with action figures and GI Joes. And it was really hard for my younger brother to play with me because he would do dumb things that make didn't make sense. And even as a kid, I would be like, no, that character would never do that. They have to have a reason to kill that person or to do that thing. They don't just arbitrarily do things or kill things or have things happen. It has to make sense. It all has to make sense to me. And so in that regard, my creative process is very logical. And when things don't make sense, it just drives me nuts. Uh, so I also have to talk about, because I just said I need things to be logical. Um, so let's say Superman, for instance, he has, you know, he can pick up 
a billion pounds and he's super strong and fly and all that stuff. And none of that makes scientific sense. Um, and I'm fine with things like that. I love it when writers and creators um, really put thought, though, into why a person has powers. I, I really enjoy that. Uh, and I can handle, you know, characters that don't do a lot of explanation. As long as the characters behave in a way that I feel like, you know, a, a, they would behave in reality if they had those powers. Because obviously, you know, you wouldn't have a whole lot of wiggle room when it comes to giving characters abilities and things like that. Um, if you only said, well, this is, that's not possible. People can't fly. So in that regard, I'm totally fine with, you know, fanciful things and things like that. But the characters have to do things and say things and the story has to make sense logically. So I wanted to make sure I was clear on that is I don't need things to be like scientific fact. I don't like it or I don't care if a character has insane strength or just abilities and stuff. Um, I just want the character's behavior and the story to make sense. So I'm getting closer to the end of this video. I know that was a lot of talking. And I really want to hear your guys' feedback on your f ideas about creativity and what you enjoy. Um, so let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you liked this more talky type of video where I just talk about like ideas and concepts versus just the drawing. Because like I said, I've done these type of drawings like a million times. So, um, But anyway, uh, so the drawing is finished. Just a quick, uh, this drawing took me uh, about an hour and 15 minutes, I believe is what the time was on it. Uh, so pretty quick, just sketch of an idea. Um, I will be doing this in a digital version, so I think that one will be super cool. Um, but anyway, that's the video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.